Uh, what exactly are you doing? All right, everyone, welcome back to the trail. Wanted to talk a little bit about this awesome new 509 helmet that I've been running now. And 509 uh, came out with this new Delta Commander helmet this year, specifically designed for trail riders. And you guys know that we love our helmets. We've pretty much have tried everything out there the last you know five years or so. And it's really cool because 509 typically, I mean, I think they put out like one, they've had one or two trail helmet models every year. And this one is definitely a new one for them. And it's got a lot of really advanced technology and innovation uh, in terms of the overall design of the helmet. And Rich Outdoors actually told me about it initially when it was coming out. We had a chance to preview it at the Toronto International Snowmobile Show in October. And as soon as I, uh, you know, got my hands on it and kind of learned about it. I saw the marketing videos and learned that it had the partnership that they've established with Cardo for communications. I knew that I had to have one and try it out. And it would be the perfect, hopefully be the perfect uh, kind of match for our crew. You guys know that we're big Cardo users. So I ordered this, uh, this Delta in the carbon fiber edition and if you think about it, the helmet's around, I think, 900 bucks, but it has the integrated comms. It comes with Cardo built in. And I'm gonna uh, just give you a bit of a review on this helmet and some initial impressions. Now that I've got some time with it and I've had a chance to, to ride, you know, quite a bit with it already. So far, I can say this helmet is phenomenal. I love this helmet. Super lightweight. It has unbelievable airflow. This Venturi air vent system that they have is fantastic. Very easily adjustable, but when you actually adjust the vents, you really do feel the difference in airflow throughout the helmet. So there's two adjustments up front that are inside the helmet. Um, and when you, when you adjust those two vents, you really do feel the air coming in through each of the vents on the side into the front of the helmet. There's an additional air vent right on top. And once you get a sense as to where the location is for those air vents, they're, they're really easy to get at. And you can do it when the helmet's actually on your head. So it's quite, uh, quite a nice setup. Super lightweight, beautiful looking helmet. And what's really cool about it is you no longer need to worry about comms being separate. It's integrated into the helmet. So what does that mean? One of the big problems with Cardo and any other comm system that's out there typically is they run out of battery life. Because this helmet is all integrated and Cardo is built in, when you plug this helmet into your E-Link cord or your electronic uh, you know, outlet on your sled for 12 volt to power your shield, it powers the whole helmet. So you actually get your electric shield working as well as power to your Cardo all in one shot. So your Cardo is never gonna die. We paired it up with uh, Jesse's Cardo and we've been using them, you know, steady for uh, the last couple of days and it works really well. So that is the big selling feature for us and the reason why we jumped on it immediately. You just no longer need to worry about charging your Cardo anymore and bringing in, you know, if you come in and stop for lunch, sometimes we used to be charging them up or we'd bring a power cube with us and keep it in our inside pocket and run a cable to our Cardo. Usually towards the end of the day, they would start to, to kind of have low battery, right? Or mid, mid through your afternoon. So uh, that's a huge, huge bonus for, I think anybody who uses comms and um, I think overall it, it, it works, it works amazing. Not only that, the helmet itself is quiet. I wouldn't say it's as quiet as the oxygen, but um, it's certainly, you know, you can hear everything loud and clear as far as communications 
and uh, and music really well. So definitely uh, definitely loving it so far. So one of the other things that uh, the helmet has is an integrated chase light, which is great. So you know when you're riding in snow dust, really safe, easily to see the guy in front of you. And you know it's a good safety feature to have into any uh, any helmet these days. The oxygen has it built in, and some of the other helmets that we've had, you know, we just buy them and mount them. So it's nice to see that in on it as well. And the other thing that's cool too is you can actually plug this entire helmet in with a USB-C cable. So let's say you do bring it into the hotel room at night, and maybe for whatever reason you're not plugging in the cord into your sled. Um, you know, you can also charge up that way so that you've got um, you've got it powered. Another cool feature is you can actually turn on and off the electric visor. So it doesn't necessarily need to be on while it's plugged into the sled. Super easy. You can click a button basically and turn it turn it off if you like. If maybe you're feeling too much heat from it, or for whatever reason you don't want uh, you don't want the electric visor. Uh, on. So I think for you know for YouTubers like us, we want to make sure obviously that sound quality is is a big piece of it. And the helmet, uh, as far as what we've noticed from testing some of the the quality of our mics and our video, is amazing. It's really clear. Hopefully you guys agree, and uh, that works for us, right? Because it's super important that we have our our GoPros and mics connected that you know the audio quality is is works really well we found in the mission just because there is so much airflow coming through that helmet that the audio quality for our video work isn't as uh, isn't as good so this helmet definitely so far seems to be a winner in many different categories for us and and I'm absolutely loving it now it's not all good the bad thing about this helmet, and I don't know how they overlook this, especially for trail riders, is the fact that this helmet does not come with a flip down sun visor inside, and it does not have a peak, and those are two big gripes for me. So I noticed yesterday we had a lot more sunshine, and I was riding into the, into the sun in the afternoon, and I really found it troublesome and it's unsafe and I'm really surprised that you know for a helmet that's had so much design and innovation work that they'd never really built that in as far as a feature uh, to the helmet and that's an unfortunate downfall for this particular particular lid and so what I do understand is you can get some different shield options for it and so you can get like a tinted visor, you can get some different color visors that they have but what I'm not sure of is if they're actually electric or not so we're going to look into that. That could be a potential solution and maybe that's the reason behind why they've designed it the way that they have and not put in a flip down sun visor or a peak. I would really hope that at some point, I mean it would just be amazing if 509 could make a peak for this helmet. It would be the cat's meow, really, if they did that. I'm gonna chalk this one up so far as an extremely comfortable helmet to wear. It has an integrated air pump system into it where it actually pumps up, if anybody remembers those old Reebok pumps from back in the day, I know I'm dating myself, but still. You pump them up and it creates a really nice seal around your face. This helmet has that where you can actually use the push button, pump it up, and then you can hit the button to actually release it before you take it off. So um, that's a really, really nice feature. One of the other things I thought was really cool, instead of your standard RCA plug for your 12 volt connection, they've come up with a different design and I was a little nervous about it at first, but now that I actually understand it and see how it works, it's actually brilliant. And I'm gonna show you guys this on camera, but when you plug it in, it's actually got a locking mechanism so the cord can't come out. And so what you do is it goes in, you twist it a certain way to push it in. Once it's in, you turn it, you know, uh, you turn it 45 degrees or you turn it 90 degrees and it, it actually locks into place so it will never come out. Really smart design. And what's cool is once you plug it actually into the helmet, 
it powers the helmet and you'll hear it beep inside your helmet on your speakers so you know you've actually got power to the helmet it's also got an LED um, light on the side of the helmet for your electric visor and that's how you can tell whether or not your visor is on or off Uh, what exactly are you doing? What? What are you doing? I wanted to get a cool shot of you. <laughs> so one thing I noticed with this uh, 509 helmet, again, just sort of in comparison to some of the other lids that we've got and we've been trying, I wouldn't say it's a, it's a super quiet helmet. And the only other thing that I'm not loving about it is the sound quality for music. I actually was expecting it to be better still not as good as the oxygen i was listening to tunes i've got a my rock playlist and a country playlist and i don't know it just sounds a little uh it sounds a little flat to me it's not really clear or high quality all right everyone well that takes care of my first kind of initial impressions on this new delta commander helmet from 509 and honestly winner winner chicken dinner this is a wicked helmet i absolutely love it I can definitely see myself using this a lot this year and you know I've got the oxygen the mission now I've got this one I think this is uh, gonna be a helmet that a lot of trail riders are gonna like and hopefully you know it works out I mean again the sun visor is kind of a bit of a pickle but we'll either figure out the shield options or we'll uh, hopefully see a peak in the future I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for riding along. We'll see you on the next one.